So let's come and lie down on your back. And then make sure that you're comfortable here. So we're going to focus on hamstrings this morning. Trying to create that little bit more space through the back of the legs. I want you to land here with your breath. So for this moment, just observe how the breath here feels, what it feels like in your body. And as you land in this practice, perhaps allow the intention to be here to be flexible with yourself, but flexible in every way. So try not to get stuck on any thought patterns or judgments that you have towards yourself. See if you can allow yourself just to work here with where you are with your physical body today, with your breath today, where you are with what the weather's like in your mind. So again, we just turn up and really deeply know that turning up for yourself is more than enough. And it's exactly where you need to be. Just take one more big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And then slowly draw your knees here into your chest. And then hold on to your knees, hold on to your shins. You need to just gently rock, roll out to your lower back. Just a gentle rocking here, side to side. And then place your right hand over the right knee, your left hand over your left knee. You need to circle your hips here, your knees here. So you're lubricating the hip joints. Cycle them here in one way. And then change direction, cycle them in the other way too. And then separate your knees here, draw your knees here closer towards your armpits. Really try to squeeze the knees in towards your armpits. And begin to circle your ankles here. So you're rolling your ankles here in one direction. Move your toes here. Roll them in the other direction too, still moving your toes. Let's come into happy baby. Catch the soles here of your feet. Stack your ankles here over your knees and just gently draw your knees past your ribcage here towards the floor. Promote the length here of your spine. Lightly press the back of your head against so that lightly draw your chin here towards your chest. Again, keep breathing. And press your right foot into your right hand. Lengthen your right leg as much as you can and then bend your right knee. Lengthen your left leg here as much as you can and press the foot here into your hand. Bend your left knee. Lengthen out both legs, both at the same time. You can let go of your feet. You can catch the backs of your legs here. Try not to lift your bum here too much. Keep drawing your lower back here to the floor and keep both feet flexed. And then bend both knees. Let's come into half a happy baby. So stretch your left leg now down the mat. Catch your right foot here with both hands. See if you can take your right knee past the ribcage towards the floor. Still try and bring your leg into this nice right angle. If it's difficult for you to catch your foot, you can always catch the back of your leg. If it's really, if you've got really tight here in Happy Baby, you can always hold on to the back of your knee, back of your right leg. And see if you can hook your right big toe here with your piece fingers, with your middle and index finger. Lengthen your right leg now as much as you can. Place your left hand on top of your 
your left leg. And see if you can bring your nose here towards your knee. Keep your left hip, your left leg grounded. And take one more breath here. And then slowly release that foot. Draw your right knee in towards your chest. And then exhale, take your right knee across the body over to the left. Take your right arm here out to the side. Keep your right shoulder close to the mat and send a breath here into the right side of your rib cage, right side of your body. And so you bring your knee all the way back up again. And we'll switch sides. So stretch your right leg down plant. Catch your left foot here with both hands. Again, if you will feel very tight here in the happy baby, whether the hips are tight or the hamstrings are tight, you can catch the back of your knee, you can catch your leg. Just try and come into a little bit of a deeper stretch here in the hip, wherever that is for you. And then keep breathing. And then hook your left big toe here with your peace fingers. Stretch your left leg as much as you can. Kind of have that slight bend in your knee. Place your right hand on top of your left leg and then see if you can bring your nose here towards your left knee. And again, keep breathing. And then slowly release your foot, draw your left knee in towards your chest, inhale, and then exhale, take your left knee across the body over to the other side. Take your left arm here out to the side, keep your left shoulder close to the mat, and see if you can spend the breath into the left side of your ribcage, left side of your body. And then slowly bring your knee all the way back up again. Briefly draw both knees into your chest. Give yourself that tight squeeze. Take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And then stretch your legs here. Straight up, down the mat. Reach your arms here up and overhead. Press your heels here down. Engage your belly. So start to draw your belly back towards your spine. Inhale, lift yourself up, come to sit, reach up, exhale, slowly fold. Again, inhale, lift, come up to sit, sit. Exhale, slowly lower all the way back down. Again, inhale, come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, slowly lower all the way back down. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Let's do two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Now inhale, come to sit. Come and sit cross-legged. So right foot here in front of your left. Drop the hips into the mat, lift out of your lower back, lengthen the inhale, exhale, slowly start to fold forward. So again, start to walk your hands here forward. So if you can really stretch and lengthen your spine, soften into the hips here, breathe into your back, breathe into your hips, tone your belly here, and really access your back body for your breath. Walk your hands to the left. Take your forehead to your left knee. Allow your right sit bone to feel heavy. Breathe here into the right side of your rib cage. And slowly walk your hands through the center and over to the other side. Take your forehead to your right knee. Allow your left sit bone now to feel heavy again. Keep breathing. And then slowly walk your hands back into the center. Lift yourself up. Just reverse the hands here behind your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. Lift your chest here up. Big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And then slowly come back to center and switch your feet here out. So left foot in front of your right. Then inhale, lengthen. Exhale, slowly fold. Walk your hands here forwards. 
can actively press your sit bones back and down, soften the left hip, breathe into your back, breathe into the, the hips. And then walk your hands to get to the right. Take your forehead to your right knee and allow your left sit bone to feel heavy. Keep breathing. And then slowly walk your hands back into the center and over to the other side. Allow your right sit bone now to feel heavy and breathe into the right side. It will rotate your right side. And slowly come back to center. Lift yourself up, come to sit. Reverse the hands again one more time behind your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. Really try to puff your chest up. Big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And then slowly come back to center. Let's come onto all fours and tuck your toes here. And then sit back onto your heels. Now catch the toes, spread them out, see if you can get every single toe here to touch the mat. And maybe walk your knees here back. Try to keep a neutral pelvis. You point your tailbone down, engage your belly here. Inhale, float your arms up. Bend your elbows, place your right forearm on top. Press the elbows against your hands, hands against your elbows, and then try and draw your arms behind your ears. Then exhale slowly, release out. Again, inhale, left forearm on top. Press the elbows against your hands, hands against your elbows. Exhale, release out. So keep going. Keep the toes tucked. Try and keep your toes tucked for as long as possible. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, let's just do two more, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale. We'll come on to all fours, untuck the toes, and tap out the tops of your feet now. Let's get the blood flowing in the tops of your feet. Now tuck the toes again, lift the sit bones, and your tailbone come into downward facing dog. So most likely this is your first down dog of the day. So start to walk this down dog out. And really move into the back of your body. Let your head and neck here feel heavy. Press the floor here, away with your hands. You can turn your heels side to side to stretch more into the side body. Draw your hip points, rib points towards each other so your belly stays engaged here. And then walk your hands back towards your feet. Come into a forward fold here at the back of your mat. Keep your feet here, hip distance apart. Soften your knees here slightly. Let your head and neck feel heavy. Catch opposite elbows and just gently sway your upper body side to side. Allow your whole upper body here to feel heavy. So you drop your head and you drop your neck. Upper body is nice and heavy. Drop your hands, walk your hands here forwards, come back to downward facing dog, come into a really nice strong down dog. If you look back at your feet, the heels are hidden behind the balls of your feet, lift your kneecaps and really try to engage your upper legs here. Root down through the heels of your hands, the bases of your fingers. See if you can energetically hug the wrists here towards each other. And one more time, walk your hands back towards your feet. Keep your feet here, hip distance apart still. Root down through the four corners of your feet, and you can lift the toes, or maybe spread the toes. Then walk your hands here back. Feet the crown of your head here towards the floor, and your belly and your chest closer to your legs. Hollow out your belly. Notice how much you need to engage the whole front side of your body to create this space. And the length here for the back side of your body. Then walk your hands here forwards. Come back to your downward facing dog. 
Hip points, rib points towards each other. Take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. Bend your knees, press back to child's pose. Let your sit bones go back towards your heels. Rest your forehead on the mat. Either tuck your arms back or place your forehead on stacked palms. And then walk your hands forward. Popping up onto the fingertips, lifting the elbows up. Just take one really big deep breath into the back of your body. Inhale deeply. And then exhale. And again, really dropping into the intention of this practice. So we're intending to be flexible, but flexible in every way. So with every thought that comes up, and perhaps approach any stuckness with flexibility rather than getting too focused on the way you feel stuck. Just observe, keep breathing, be soft on your sound. Allowing this sort of watery energy to enter here in this practice. Inhale, slowly come up, lift yourself up, come to sit here on your heels. Keep your feet here straight. Sit bones can land directly on your heels. If this is too much for your knees or ankles, come and sit cross-legged. And then place your hands here onto the lowest part of your ribcage. Really feel yourself hold your ribcage in your hands. Allow your breath here to expand into the hands. And with this ujjayi breath, you're moving on any stagnant energy, any energy that is still stuck. So you're lightly squeezing the top of your throat on the inhale and then the exhale. Now exhale everything naturally out right now. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. Again, inhale, one, two, three, four, Hold. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Hands slightly higher up your rib cage. Again, inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. And inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold. Hands onto your chest. So again, inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Hold. One hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. Again, inhale. One, two, Three, four, hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. Now switch your hands here around again. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, four. Three, two, one, hold. Both hands on your lap again. Inhale, one, two, three, 
Hold, hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. Last one, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. And exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. <clears throat> and then release. Now softly open your eyes here. Look at the floor here in front of your knees. Allow the prana life force here to come forward from your eyes. And then place your hands, tuck the toes. And come back to downward facing dog. So if you're into that nice strong downward facing dog, create space here through all sides of your body. Then take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And inhale, look between your hands. And exhale, step here towards your hands. Inhale, little legs and look forward. Exhale, slowly fold. Now root down here through your feet, press the floor away and bring yourself here all the way up to stand. Reach up, look up, exhale, draw it back into your heart and release your hands. So here, drop the shoulders, take a natural breath and notice the bottom of your feet here. Your face nice and soft and keep your awareness here on your breath. And again, come back to that slightly watery element where you're feeling flexible and open to receive. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift legs and look forward. Place the hands and step back to plank pose. To bring your shoulders over your wrists, let your tailbone feel slightly heavy. Draw hip points, rib points here towards each other. Keep bring your shoulder blades down your back and keep your chest being nice and open. Take a big deep breath in. Then exhale, chaturanga to the floor. Land here on your belly. Untuck your toes here. Inhale, lift, come up, cobra. Draw the shoulder blades down your back and really try to feed your chest here through your arms. Draw hip points, root points here towards each other. Exhale, slowly lower down. Twice more here on the breath. Inhale, lift, cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. Now press the floor away. Come back to child's pose. Take your bum here back towards your heels. On your neck, inhale, round the spine. Come into that cat stretch. Run onto all fours. Press back child's pose. Exhale. Then inhale, round forward cat stretch. Press back child's pose. Exhale. One more time. Round forward cat stretch. This time, tuck the toes. Press back to Downward facing dog, exhale. Root down through the walls of your feet. Create space here between your shoulder blades and space through all four sides of your body. And then inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, step here towards your hands. Inhale, lift, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Now root down through your feet, press the floor away and bring yourself up to sun. Reach up, lift up. Exhale, draw it back into your heart. And then release your hands. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, length and look forward. Place the hands again, step back to plank. Shoulders over wrists, tailbone slightly heavy. Hip points, rib points towards each other. Strong arms, strong legs, strong belly. And then bend both knees, try and bend them at the same time and let your knees come down to the floor. Come onto all fours, you might have to adjust your hands and knees slightly. So your hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees here are underneath your hips. Now inhale, lift your right leg up, keep the knee bent, so turn the, the sole of your feet here up towards the ceiling and just gently pulse your right leg up and down, squeezing your hamstring. So squeezing your bum. Then lower your right knee down. 
And so lift your left leg up again. The sole of your foot is facing the ceiling. Gently pulse your left leg up and down, squeezing your bum, squeezing the hamstring here. And then lower your left knee down. Come back to a plank, or if you want to skip the transition, come to down dog. Otherwise, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, step or baby, float it towards your hands. Inhale, lift the length and look forward. Exhale, fold. And then we're down through your feet. Press the floor away, bring yourself up to stand, reach up, lift up. Exhale, drive it back into your heart and then release your hands. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, lengthen, look forward. Place the hands and step back to plank. And then inhale, exhale, charge or under. Inhale, up to hold cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now inhale, raise your right leg high. So lift your right leg up. Maybe lift your hip just slightly. Point for the toes. Keep your shoulders here level with each other. Draw your hip point, your rib point here towards each other. Then exhale, slowly draw your right knee in towards your chest and your spine now. Knee to nose, step the right foot between your hands. Keep your fingertips on the floor. Gently feed your hips in forward so you can squeeze the chest here through your arms. Exhale, slowly lengthen up your right leg. Inhale, come forward, drop your hips. Exhale, lengthen out your right leg. Inhale, exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. And plant your right foot down, drop your left knee here down. If you need to pat out your left knee, pat out your left knee. Inhale, float your arms up. Gently feed your hips here forward. Point your tailbone down, puff your chest up. You can even take your arms just a little bit wide, open the chest. Then lengthen out your right leg, press the heel down, draw the toes up, fold over your right leg, square your hips here, so left hip forward, right hip back. So going into the three hamstrings by keeping the knees slightly bent and really actively pressing your right heel down. So you can take both hands to the outside of your right leg and fold your head past the outside of your right knee. And place your left hand on the inside of your left, the right leg, and reach your right arm all the way up. Open the chest here. Keep actively pressing the right heel down. And plant your right foot down, tuck the back toes, and lift your left knee off the mat. Then inhale, expand, exhale, open even more. And then lower your right hand down. Step back to plank or down dog. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up to go cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big deep breath in. Nice, exhale out. And then inhale, raise your left leg high. So lift up your left leg, point to the toes. Draw your ribs here towards each other. Supercharge your left leg. And exhale, slowly draw your left knee in towards your chest, round your spine now, knee to nose, and step your left foot here between your hands. Keep the fingers next to your front foot. Gently feed your hips here forward, squeeze the chest here through your arms. Exhale, slowly lengthen out your left leg. Then inhale, come forward. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale. Exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Then plant your left foot down, drop your right knee down, and pat out your right knee if you need to. Inhale, float your arms up. Gently feed your hips here forwards. Point your tailbone down, puff your chest up, reach into the fingertips, maybe open your chest a little bit. One more breath here. 
And then slowly lengthen out the left leg, fold over the left leg. Hands can land on the shin on the floor. Feed your right hip forward, draw your left hip back again. Really try to press the heel down, slight bend in your left knee. Keep your hips square, and then see if you can take both hands to the outside of your right leg. Take your nose across the outside of your right knee. And then take both hands back to the center, land your right hand down, reach your left arm up, easy twist, keep your left leg active. Inhale here, exhale here. And then find your left foot down, tuck the back toes, lift your right knee off the mat, and reach into the left fingertips. Inhale here, exhale here. Lower your left hand down. Step back to plank or straight to down dog. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big deep breath in. Nice, exhale out. Inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, step or maybe float it towards your hands. Inhale, look length and look forward. Exhale, fold. Root down through your feet. Press the floor away. Bring yourself up to stand. Reach up, lift up. Exhale, drop it back into your heart. And then release your hands. Drop the shoulders. Take a natural breath. Notice the value of your feet. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, lengthen, look forward. Place the hands, step or float back to plank. And then inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up to wall, cobra. Exhale, down the face of the dog. Root down through the balls of your feet. Again, create the space here through all sides of your body. And then inhale, raise your right leg high. And then lift the right leg up. Draw hip points, rib points towards each other. And exhale, slowly draw your right knee in towards your chest. Round your spine now, knee to nose. Step your right foot here between your hands, coming to crescent lunge. Inhale, float your arms up. Keep your hips here square, draw your shoulders down. Okay, zip up your belly here. Now you can stay with the balls on both feet, so the back heel can stay lifted. And begin to lengthen out your front leg. Lift your lower belly here, then exhale slowly, start to reach forward. So reach forward, long spine, and then lower both hands down. Square the hips here. Again, you can lift your right heel off the mat, the front heel, and scissor the inner thigh, sending the crown of your head here towards your right foot. Keep breathing. And inhale, come halfway up. And turn the right toes in. So we're going to come into a wide-legged forward fold. Walk the hands to the long edge of your mat. And the big toes to point towards each other. Heels are slightly turned out. Inhale, lift. Come halfway up. Exhale, fold. Now, instead of walking your hands back, walk them as far forward as possible. And gently cool the floor with your arms. And really press the heels down. So we're beginning to take the weight into the back of your body. And then creating space for your arms, through your upper back, and keep your belly here engaged. And then slowly walk your hands here back. Now turn your right foot to the top of your mat again. From here, we're going to come into the triangle. Now you can place your right hand on your shin. You can have it on the floor. You can also have it on the block. Now right heel lines up with the arch of your back foot. And then inhale, reach your left arm up. And open the chest here. Draw hip points, rib points towards each other. Create a space here between your shoulder blades. Keep breathing. And then slowly lower your left hand down. Place the hands down. Step back to pipe or straight to down dog. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up to your cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. 
And then inhale, raise your left leg high. So lift your left leg up, quench spread the toes, draw your hip points, your rib points towards each other. Sometimes it helps to lift the leg higher by bending your right knee slightly. And exhale, slowly draw your left knee in towards your chest, round your spine now, knee to nose, and step your left foot between your hands. Come to crescent lunge. Inhale, float your arms up. Hips are square, shoulders are square. Zip up your belly, so hip points, rib points towards each other. Keep breathing. And then press the balls of your feet down. Lengthen out both legs, keep the hips square. Start to reach forward to start with, so all the way forward, engaging your belly, and then lower both hands down. Keep the hips square, so you can set the crown of your head towards your left foot. Keep both legs really firmly engaged. If it's there, you maybe lift the left heel off the mat. And then drop both heels down. You're going to take both hands against the long edge of the mat. Turn the heels out slightly, toes in slightly. This time, walk your hands back through your legs. And you could reverse the fingers. You could very gently pull on the floor to really open up your upper back, your shoulders. Press the outer edges of your feet. Now, really feel yourself lifting your kneecaps up. You're really engaging the whole front side of your body here. Take one more breath here. And then slowly walk your hands here forward. Lift and come halfway up. Turn your left foot to the top of your mat again. So now triangle pose. Line up your right heel, left heel, sorry, with the arch of your back foot. Left knee can be slightly bent and reach your right arm up. Then try not to drop the left side of your body here to the low. Reach into the right fingertips. Nice open chest. Keep breathing. And slowly lower your right hand down. Step back to plank or straight to down dog. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big deep breath in. Run that nice exhale out. Inhale, raise your right leg high. Bend your knee, point your toes, get behind your back. Squeeze your heel towards your sit bone, your knee get towards the ceiling. And exhale, slowly draw your right knee in towards your chest and over towards your left upper arm. So you're sort of twisting here underneath your body. Then shoot your right leg underneath your left arm, land your right hand down, roll onto the heels and lift your left arm up. So you're coming into this fallen triangle. And lower your left hand down. Take your right leg up again. Bend the knee, point the toes. And then take your right knee here to your right wrist. And slide your left leg all the way back. Coming into pigeon. Pop up onto your fingertips and lift your chest here. up. Inhale and exhale slowly fold. So lower down. Land on your elbows. Maybe land your forehead all the way down. But dropping into the right hip. Gently feed your chest in through your arms. Keep breathing. And pop back up onto your hands. Land on your right sit bone and take both legs wide. So both legs wide now. Coming into straddle, look at your toes and your kneecaps, point those up towards the ceiling, lift out of your lower belly, lift your chest, inhale, you can keep your hands here behind your hips if there's a lot of sensation in your legs, or start to walk your hands forward. Walk them as far forward as possible, and eventually here begin to drop your head. You're really more than welcome to stay here, you want to stay here or here, doesn't really matter. Just aim for the top of your head to move forward, the belly and the chest to move towards the floor. So the aim is to not round your spine. Take one more breath here. And then inhale, slowly come up. Lift yourself up, support the backs of your knees and just bring your legs here together. 
the legs are together and then catch your right foot and knee here with your elbow. See if you can cradle your right leg. So you're rolling out your hip again. Or again, we're focusing on the right hip like we did here in the pigeon. So gently, maybe rock side to side. Be careful that you're not rounding your lower back. So you're not dumping the lower back. Lift your chest here up. And then catch your foot here with both hands and see if you can feed your foot here close to your sternum, taking the right knee out to the right. So coming into the hip, maybe just a little bit deeper. Again, lift out of your lower back. Keep your belly engaged. And slowly release that foot. Catch your right foot here with your left hand. Option now is to keep your left leg straight or to bend the left knee. You might feel a little bit more stable by bending the left knee and keeping the heel with your left foot close to your right sit bone. Now try, so you're catching your right foot here with your left hand, maybe make a C shape here with your right thumb and oh, index finger, and then see if you can take your knee back. Now see if you can take your right leg up and over your right shoulder. You have the option just to stay here, this is more than enough, or to place your right hand down, and to lengthen out your left leg. And then see if you can roll the chest here and look underneath your left armpit. If your left leg can stay straight or bend the knee. And then slowly bend your right knee. Release your foot. Step back to downward facing dog briefly. Take an inhale here. And an exhale here. And inhale, raise your left leg high. Bend your knee, point your toes behind your back. Squeeze your heel towards your sit bone. Knee towards your chest and then shoot that left leg underneath your right arm. Roll onto the heels, reach your right arm up. Lift your hips here. Inhale here. Exhale here. Lower your right hand down. Left knee up, bend the knee. Put the toes behind your back. And then take your left knee here to your left wrist. And slide your right leg all the way back. So again, square the hips. Pop up onto your fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lower down. So coming into the left hip now. Chest forward. Top of your head forward. Softening your left hip. Releasing your lower back here. Keep breathing. And pull back up onto your hands. Land on your left sit bone. And again, coming to that straddle, so both legs wide. And feel as if your sit bones are being pulled back slightly. Pop your chest up, sit really nice and tall. Inhale, exhale, slowly start to move forward. Walk your hands here forward. Soften into the legs. Try to keep your legs engaged, pressing the heels down, pointing the toes up, chest forward, top of your head here forward, and eventually here, maybe drop your head. And remind yourself that staying here, sitting tall, is also more than enough. Inhale, slowly come up and lift yourself up, support your knees here, lift them up, lengthen out the legs here in front, cradle your left leg now, so catch your left foot here in the crooks of your elbows, your left knee in the crook of your elbow and gently rock out your left hip. Sit really tall, so be mindful of your lower back. Keep your belly here engaged. And then we'll slowly take that foot in both hands and see if you can bring it close to your sternum. Try to take your left knee out to the left. Sit really tall.
And then coming into that sundial pose, coming into a strong hamstring stretch. Catch your left foot here with your right hand. Make a C-shape with the index and uh, thumb. And you can just catch the back of your calf or ankle. This could be more than enough, but try and take your left leg as high up over your shoulder as possible. The option is to keep your right leg straight or to bend the knee. And then placing your left hand down. This might be where you're at with your body today. And again, that is more than enough. Or maybe see if you can lengthen your left leg and look underneath your right armpit. Keep breathing. You can be here, you can be here, it doesn't really matter where you are. And then slowly bend your left knee, release your left leg, and we'll come into a forward fold that's slightly different to how you have been used to. So, Bring your knees here into your chest, and you're really getting the chest to press against your upper legs. You're going to catch your feet here. You're going to press your upper body against your upper legs, and you're going to slowly walk your feet forward, but only go with the feet as far forward until you feel like you're going to separate your upper body with the upper legs. So I want you to keep pressing legs into your chest and the chest back against your legs. And you might end up here, you might end up here, you might be able to lengthen the legs completely. It doesn't really matter. Just try to keep your chest and your upper legs here together. So most likely there's a slight bend in your knees. Take one more breath here. And inhale, slowly come up. Lift yourself up, bend your knees now, move your hips here forward, float your arms here up, lift your chest up, and exhale, slowly come and lie down on your back. So we're here on our back. We're gonna set up a bridge pose. Walk your heels slightly closer to your sit bones. Take all the backs of your heels with your fingertips. Really press your lower back here down. So on the inhale, lift your hips up. Draw your right shoulder and left shoulder on. Interlace your fingers. Press your arms against the mat. Now I want you to really focus on engaging the hamstrings by drawing the heels closer towards your sit bones energetically or closer towards your shoulders. And you could lift your toes off the mat. So energetically drag your heels towards your shoulders. Keep sending your tailbone forward. And then slowly release, lower all the way down. Press your lower back against the mat. Take an inhale here. And exhale here. So, last back bend. If you want to, repeat for a bridge pose. If you want to come into Urdhva Dhanurasana, that real full expression of a back bend, reverse the hands behind your shoulders. Hug the elbows here towards each other. On the inhale, set yourself up. On the exhale, really try to lift the whole front side of your body up towards the ceiling. Keep your feet parallel, keep your upper legs in parallel. Just take two breaths here. And then slowly tuck the chin and lower all the way back down. For a moment again, enjoy the sensations that are now rushing through your body. Enjoy your knees into your chest. And just gently rock out your lower back. Come into happy baby. Stabilizing your pelvis by drawing tailbone down, lightly pressing the back of your head against the mat, lightly drawing the chin towards your chest. Again, keep breathing. And 
and then join with knees back into your chest. Give yourself a tight squeeze, take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. Now keep your knees here together, drop both knees to the left. Get your right arm here out to the side. Keep your right shoulder close to the mat and then set the breath into the right side of your rib cage. Right side of your body. Slowly so draw both knees back into your chest and keep your knees together. Drop them over to the other side. And sending the breath into the left side of your cage, the left side of your body. And slowly draw both knees back into your chest. And keep your knees here again together. Give yourself a really tight squeeze again. Take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And come and lie down on your back. Take up as much space as you feel comfortable. Allow your physical body here to feel heavy. Your arms, your hands, your legs, your feet. Your chest, soften your belly. Try to just gently release whatever you feel, still feel like you're holding on to. And coming back to the sense of flexibility, but flexibility in every way. So notice your breath. Notice perhaps where you're getting stuck with your breath. And see if you can just gently open and soften the breath. Notice the tensions here in your body and see if you can relax them with your breath. Notice the thought patterns here, and again, soften, soften with your breath. Bringing this water element back to the body, so feel yourself becoming more fluid. As if you're slowly growing, as if you're slowly spreading out like a slow growing plant. Your actual face, soften your jaw. Drop your chest, soften your belly. Allowing yourself to hold on to less and less. Noticing the fluidity here of your presence, of your physical body, the thoughts, of your breath, even the sounds around you are fluid, they come and they go, they have a passing nature.
Very, very slowly. Begin to come back into your body. Start to move your hands, your fingers. Deepen your breath. Move your feet, your toes, and stretch out overhead. It feels like it's something you want to do. And draw one knee into your chest, or the other knee into your chest. And slowly roll to the right. Just stay there for a few breaths. And inhale, slowly come up. Lift yourself up. Come to sit. Come and sit cross-legged or in any comfortable seat here for you. So that might be on your heels. Place your hands here. In your lap or your knees. Notice the grounding of your spine. Sorry, notice the grounding of your hips and the lifting of your spine. Relax your shoulders. Keep your face soft, keep your jaw relaxed. And cover the heart here with your hands, your hands in Anjali Mudra in front of your heart. Lift your heart up to your hands, lightly tuck your chin, bow your head here to your heart. With this mudra, bring your inside out to so your heart before your heart, your mind before your mind. We offer our inside out. So thank you for sharing your practice here this morning. May this practice here inspire your daily life. May we offer this practice to those and to where it is needed the most. The skin you shed today, feed the soil around you. May you gently remind yourself to keep giving and not to give up. May we all breathe in the unknown and breathe out peace. Take a big deep breath into your heart and your hand. Nice exhale out. My heart to yours. When you are ready, open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for again joining me. Um, nice to see a few new faces this morning. Um, if you have donated, thank you so much. Really from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. If you want to donate, uh, details are on the Yard Yoga website, um, so you can find them.